Hi guys, welcome back. That's probably a bad angle, but hi guys, welcome back. That's still a bad angle. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Period. Hey guys. Tanisha hi she's probably she we might as well just make a YouTube channel together at this point but oh let me stop. <laughs> but oh you can open the door it's lucky oh. he wants to say hi yeah hi he just want to see who you are <laughs> oh you're not afraid of dogs okay no I'm good with dogs that's good so I'm gonna be refreshing her braids yeah, we're just gonna be talking. It looks horrible, guys. It does not look. It don't look bad. bad, but you know, it's not to my likings. Now I'm gonna be detecting. <laughs> and he likes you. That's that's good, cause whenever my dog meets people, he barks. So when he doesn't right. bark, then you gotta be a good person. <laughs> now, cause some other dog, I was walking here and I got so shook, cause I walked past the gate she and the dog. Way that I <laughs> And that, that yeah, about it. Now, to be honest, I just want to like see who you are. Everyone's crazy. For real. And it's sad. Because, like, when you say stuff like that, people think that you're crazy. Exactly. What is she talking about? Because like, they don't know. She just seems serious and serious. Whatever. You know, she thinks she knows everything. Like, I was, these are real stuff, but nobody's going to actually pay attention because everybody's conditioned in a type of way already. Like, but I'm not even going to say what I was about to say. It takes a strong person to actually open like have a third eye meaning like be aware of what's really going on i mean people i think people are aware of it but they just don't want to listen to it they they are aware of it to a certain extent they but not to the point where they like yeah. they care to know more of the stuff about they're it. aware of it but they think it's a lie exactly. they're like, told like, not, they think, yeah it's not real and it's just like it's honestly sad to see people going through their life not trying to learn something new even if it is a theory just sit and listen don't like shut me down while i'm telling you it just because of how your beliefs are because if like me and tanisha were just having a conversation just because i didn't agree with her doesn't mean i'm not gonna sit there and listen to what she has to say that sucks honestly i hate when people like not everybody's gonna believe in what you believe in that doesn't make them yeah. a bad person you know but at least just like how not people believe in what you don't believe in what people believe in mm -hmm. doesn't make you a bad person it could be the most craziest stuff you could, or you're about to tell me but i'll sit and listen even if i know that shit is crazy far-fetched i'll sit and listen but people some people like i'm not even trying to judge nobody but like some people just don't have the, i don't know the right word for it they just don't have i guess i can use the word decency they just don't have the just like sit and listen at all and i feel like that's a lot with parents because to them you're not listening you're not saying what they want you to they want to hear and so exactly that's a lot with parents so parents if you're not saying what they want to hear then what you're saying is invalidated exactly it's not true or like if they contradict themselves and then you confront them about it oh you're wrong shut up like and i would never want to do my kids like that and that's where the cycle, the breaking of the cycle comes in. That's why I say it takes a strong person to break a cycle. Because I would never want to beat my kids. And some people are like, that's the last resort. Never. Because if you can't outsmart a kid, like, how smart are you? Because if you have to beat a kid just for, like, respect, that fear does not equal respect. And I'm At sorry all. to tell you guys that. And if that's what you believe, that, oh, some ch children deserve to be. There's nothing positive. Because there's a lot of people who are in jail right now, prison right now. You know how many times they got beaten yeah. as kids? Look where they are. Beat them Because like. that's a lot of trauma placed on kids from a young age. Because, like, wow. Kids, kids are, they don't know anything, exactly. you know? Exactly, they're just I feel learning. like taking things away from them is a good way of exactly. discipline for kids. Talk to your kids before you beat your kids. Act don't just talk to them like it don't matter. Like, actually talk to them. Exactly. Look them in the eye and tell them to not do that. Explain to them why it's bad. And then people are gonna be like, oh, you wouldn't know, you don't have kids, but it's just like. But from a kid's perspective, exactly. trust me. Because the way 
I'm not gonna lie, the way my parents treat me sometimes and the way other teachers in schools treat me is two different things. Like with teachers, they talk, I'm not, I'm not like teachers, they talk to me, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, Tanisha, don't do this, don't do that, and they let me know why I shouldn't do it and I don't do it. Mm -hmm. For parents, on the other hand, like mom, they just scream at me like, do that, do that. Because screaming at me is not gonna do anything at all. It's just gonna make me wanna scream at you. And like, I feel like I know. And I feel like the older you get, and the more you treat your children that way, that's when they, that's when you see them separate themselves from you, slowly exactly. getting distant. Uh -huh. Then that's when the parents be like, oh, you don't hang out with me no more. Yeah, you don't talk to me. But like, whenever I do, it's a problem. Exactly. And see, that's exactly why I stay in my room all day. <laughs> me too? Oh my God. They be like, oh, why don't you come out and watch TV with me? Excuse me, ma'am. If I even went in the living room, why is this like that? Why is this? You need to do this. You need to do that. And the constant comparing me to other people, that's what I hate. Like, I'm not Other people person. who they don't know who's exactly. going through probably 10 times worse. Or somebody them. else's kids. Like, I'm not her. I'm me. Why are you comparing me to this person? Oh, you saw how Aunt Julian's daughter was acting? Exactly. But you don't know what Aunt Julian's daughter do behind closed doors. For real. She may be acting like that because you guys are around or those are around. You don't know what she does behind closed mm -hmm. doors. And they invalidate our feelings as well. Yeah, it sucks, honestly. Like, honestly, all I can say is I just can't wait for my time to come because I'm not doing sorry. that to my kids. I'm sorry. I know how it feels. I'm not, like, I'm, for parents, they know how it feels, but because they've been treated that way, that they want their kids to feel the same way that they feel. They feel like, hey, because I was treated in this way, you don't deserve to be treated any better. Yeah, because, like, I would never... Like, like I, I would want to heal myself kids. before I ever know I'd be on the heel myself. Because I wouldn't want to put any, any trauma. I would want my kids to come to me and tell me anything and not be scared to tell me anything. Like, I would want to have an open relationship. Because 99% of these parents are not healed at all. And they put all their hurt, all their insecurities and on their children. And that's exactly why kids sneak around and do things because you can't talk to your parents about anything. That's why kids are... I'm not, I'm not trying to put anybody on black, but that's another reason why I feel like kids... Teenagers, especially, are here getting pregnant. Exactly because it was never it was, it was talked about in a manner. It's like I'm not getting attention from my parents, so hey, let me go and see, yeah. see some attention from other people. Exactly, and it's like you don't. Sometimes you don't get validation from your parents, and then you have to seek it from somebody else. Because if I were to do something, I was really proud of it, and they would just brush it off as if it were nothing. Or they'll always find something bad to say exactly. like, oh, I'll be like, oh, mom, look, I came the whole house. Then they'll still look for something to, exactly. to complain oh, about. Or I got I got a 90 on my chest. Why didn't you get 100? And it's like, always looking for something bad. Like, exactly. how about you come in my shoes right now? True. Especially during the pandemic. Like, they, <laughs> like, mm -hmm. they had no idea what it was like being a teenager during the pandemic. Like, it was really like, it really wasn't because... I used to be a good student, like for real. I could show y'all my whole entire grade, like before COVID. And then when COVID came, sitting at home, being home with your parents all day, every day, really had some some effect with like how. Because for them, home. they don't care about how you felt about the COVID. They just care about how they felt about the COVID. Oh, I don't like this. You need to be with me. Exactly. You can't go anywhere. It's like, what about me, bro? Exactly. Oh, you're just a kid. You don't know how I'm feeling. That. Well, we all feel in the same way. Exactly. It's just like, oh, you're not an adult, so you can't have feelings. It's just like, oh, okay. Have you only you know? I I believe that adult or not adult, everybody deserves the same respect. Exactly. Because you are an adult and you're teaching me how to respect others. So how? So you, I don't know. People just feel like because they are older than you, they have one up on you. Exactly, and I. You deserve the same respect. Cause okay. if I was to treat you the same way, you wouldn't like it. I was telling my mom, how um, how do you expect me to respect you when you don't get no respect? And she's like, um, you don't get no respect. And I'm like, okay, that's exactly why I Trump back. That's exactly why I do this, that, and the third. And it's just like you're not gonna blatantly disrespect me. Because At all. if it was one of your friends in the street. You wouldn't be taking none of that from them. Or and you would expect them to be respectful towards you. To be honest, for me, literally, um, yeah, I don't, I just try to remove myself from the equation. Like, now I just distance myself. Like, heavy on going on in my room, staying in my room. I don't got no time for the unnecessary 
drama or unnecessary problem just because I'm being myself. And it's just like, I am saying, it just takes us. And I'm so happy that this generation sees it in that type of way. I mean, I'm pretty sure like the 1997 and down. 1998 and No, my sister was born in 1980. So I'm pretty sure like generations that are older than us see it in that type of way too. Because my sister is 31 and she's she has a son. And she's treating the, the son how, she's treating her son how she wish she would have been treated when she was, you know, his age. And I really like saying that. Because like sitting there, like, and a lot of people don't even notice they have trauma until later on in their life. And it's, and it's kind of too late now because you already have your kids and you're treating them exactly how your parents treated you. But there's always time to improve. Like, I shouldn't say it's too late, but there's always time to improve yourself. But I'm glad I'm catching it now before something would have gotten worse. Because I'd be catching myself. I like noticed that I'd be rude. Like not really rude, but like aggressive. It really sucks. Like they parents are just I wanna say weird. They're just conditioned. They're just conditioned. I don't I don't like whoever taught them those things. Like whoever told them all oh, because at the end of the day, older or younger, we're all human beings. The same with how I would feel if you did something to me, it's the same way you would feel if tables were turned. Mm -hmm. You know? So I, I personally don't like it, but it, you know, it's cool. Because, like, I put myself in other people's shoes. Because I, before I do something, I think about how it will make another person feel before I actually do it. And that's probably. Okay. It's a good and a bad thing because one, I'm facing other people's feelings, but if you do it too much, you'll become, people will walk right over you. It's just, you gotta find a good balance to everything. I'm not saying like our parents are horrible, but you know, it could I don't be know better. about all that. Ooh, it um, could be better, you know? Yeah. It could be better. It could be a whole lot better. But I, Honestly, with understand, because they don't actually take the time to understand their kids. For real. Because like, I'm, I'm the parent, so what I say is right. They don't actually take the time to understand. My mom knows nothing about me at all. Same with my parents, so nothing about me either. Like, they think they know me because I'm their child, but they don't know anything about me. And they wouldn't even know if I was like depressed or anything. If they I don't, wanted to just go They don't care to know. Exactly. For them, if they're happy, that's all that matters to them. Exactly. Whether you're depressed, the only time that they actually like to say oh my gosh no you're depressed the, the only time they care if you're depressed is if you try to harm yourself exactly or if you end up killing yourself oh for real God, my baby was okay. exactly like you should have done something and was, i don't know if um, american parents are the same thing but with african parents if we tell them that, that you're depressed like, why are you depressed you have a home you have a shelter exactly but little do they know they're ignorant because having home and shelter is, is not what causes depression there's so much more to depression so they're very ignorant when it comes to that i can only talk about this for days like honestly